lady who caught my attention right from the first day I met her. Um, a sister that I hardly ever talk to. Uh -huh. Because she's always causing trouble. Always causing trouble. But let me be serious. Career orientation in this country is one which is not very much paid attention to. Being a professional is even harder because you have to find your way into what you want to do, love what you want to do, put it out there and get your audience to love what you want to do. And then, of course, make money out of it. Yeah, that's a lot. But she built a little niche into a professional domain called makeup artistry. Her face is beat by herself. Oh. And she's got a blog, Isle of Ecstasy. It's Mwenge Kwanya, the makeup artist. Oh. Thanks for joining us. Thank you, Miss P. I really feel honored to be here today. And I'm sure I'm gonna enjoy my time out here. She's acting so reverent, but we all know she's not for those who don't. <laughs> <laughs> there you go, there you go, it's coming out. <laughs> Thanks for sharing with us today. I'm inspired by your story because I've known you from when we were kids. And when we were kids, I used to think she would probably get into TV because she used to talk a lot. As in, <laughs> she doesn't shut her mouth up. She doesn't store anything. She blurts it out just the way she sees it. But, you know, growing up and watching her get into a field that she's so passionate about and she's invested a lot of energy into being a professional, I can't wait to share with you to discover why you went down this route. Well, um, I think I'd gotten to that point in my life where mm -hmm. I had done so many other things, tourism, event management, and I wanted to find myself, I wanted to do something that I was passionate about, something that was leisure but was to get money for me. So that's why I decided to go into makeup and then photography today and blogging. Baby steps, I believe in baby steps and I'm going to get to where I want mm -hmm. to get to because Philippians 4, 13 is my guide. Okay, now we're getting spiritual. <laughs> <laughs> Do you think uh, being a makeup artist, loving, getting into photography and of course having a blog, they all go together, does it merge for you somehow? Yes, it does, it does. And honestly, whatever I'm doing today, I think that I have written in my diary a long time ago, okay. but I've not been able, I wasn't able to stand in front of my fears. But back in 2000 and 2014, I decided you need to go out there, you need to be you. You need to do something that bless other people. Mm -hmm. So all of them go together because with makeup, I was tired of waiting for pictures from photographers. So I decided to dare into photography and it's mm -hmm. working for me. The blog is that one spot where I can showcase everything I do. Yeah. That's what I'm doing on my blog. A lot of young people get into makeup. Investing into a professional training, which is something you did recently all the way in Nigeria, what were the added values of that training to you as, as an artist? For instance, there's so much on YouTube, so much to see, so much to learn. And another thing that what we don't do is we don't read. Sometimes the articles where you read will give you better understanding of what you're doing mm -hmm. in makeup. And investing in, in the training, for me meant a lot because every other thing that I had watched on YouTube or I was doing unconsciously mm -hmm. now made sense. And some of them were wrong, some of them were right. Now, but it put, it put everything into perspective for me. You're a very spiritual person. <laughs> That's right. A lady pastor to be. Meant to that. That's Amen. determined. You know, I, I wouldn't say I just got to know God. Mm -hmm. We went to Sika Baptist College and it's been instilled in us. But we decided not to do it. Mm -hmm. But I think that I've gotten to that point in my life where I know that the only person that can take me through is God. Do you feel at any point in your life that it might clash with the line of work you're into? If you get into full on arts and creativity in what you do, do you feel like that will be a hindrance? Well, I thought about it. I actually thought about it, for instance, the special effects makeup, mm -hmm. I don't think that I'm going to dare into it because it may, it may clash mm -hmm. with my, my, my beliefs. But makeup in general, doesn't it clash? Because somewhere it says, I'm, I'm sorry to take this all the way to, but it, it kind of says, well, you shouldn't touch yourself the way it is. You should just be natural. How do you feel? Well, if you go back to the Bible, mm -hmm. there's so many instances where they talk of 
Making yourself beautiful. And of course, God is a beautiful God. It doesn't mean that, you know, and, and what I do, mm -hmm. I try my best not to, ch I don't create people. Mm -hmm. I just redefine the essence of their beauty. And to me, every woman is beautiful. You just need to know those points mm -hmm. that make you the it girl. I'm finding it very difficult to be serious and professional. <laughs> you have to. I'm finding it very, very I'm difficult. I'm sure I'm doing well to be serious and professional. You're pulling it off. So I'll take it off a little further. You do makeup parties recently, something you started a few weeks back. Yes. What I, pulled you into that? I started in January. Yeah. It's been on my mind, but I, of course, everything that you do, you just need to stand in front of your fears. Because usually you start asking yourself the questions. What if I do the event and people don't come? Yeah. But I think I've gone way past that. The makeup parties for me is that so that we have a lot of makeup and a lot of women are doing makeup maybe the wrong the wrong way. But this is a platform where everybody can come in. Mm -hmm. I know that I work with other makeup artists and we share the makeup tips. You've talked about working with others. It's commonly said that Cameroonians are a bit slow to grow and in growth because they don't collaborate, because they don't support each other. Do you think that in your field it's a bit different? Because you've worked with quite a few other makeup artists. Um, it's not as easy as it may be, but I believe that when I want to do something, I'll do it. And to me, together we stand. Mm -hmm. And I have, a, I have um, this hashtag that says, I support my own. And I think in the, um, in the makeup industry, it's a, lot, it's a lot better. For instance, before I became a makeup artist, I, 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 was, uh, I was a makeup enthusiast, I was a makeup client, called people like Anya Sangani, Sandra Kukule mm -hmm. to do my makeup. Yeah. That was way before makeup became anything in Cameroon. Mm -hmm, so mm -hmm. I think that before I became a makeup artist, I was a client. And it's just right for us to be together, yeah. for the industry to have value and for it to grow. Do you, would you say, because a lot of people worry about, you know, the financial aspect of their businesses or their passion. I won't even say their businesses. The financial aspect of your passion. If I get into something I'm passionate about, would I make enough money out of it? Would you advise somebody who is passionate about um, makeup to go all the way, just drop their job like you did, by the way, bold move, <laughs> yes, drop everything and then dive into your passion fully? Is this something you can depend on for a living? Well, I will not say you, you should not be in a haste to quit. I did quit, but honestly, I had it had been on my mind. Mm -hmm. But I didn't know what I was going out to do, you know? So if you have to quit, you need to plan. You need to plan. Mm -hmm. If not, it's not going to be funny out there. It's not easy. Any day, any time, forget about it. We work, we work hard, we glamour, but I must tell you, it's tough. Well, it doesn't look like it from your social media <laughs> pages. Because she's always well, looking very hyped up, glammed up, properly dressed, and she dares to go, you even dare to go bare on Facebook. For somebody who is a, a makeup, passionate about makeup, for somebody who sells makeup, who sells the visuals, the arts of makeup, how do you find it in you to actually go bare, like your natural self? What I say is makeup doesn't make anybody beautiful. Mm -hmm. I am a fine girl, regardless of anything. Confident. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so, okay, this is what makeup does. It just adds on the confidence. Mm -hmm. Now I'm interested in your outfits. If you go to her social media pages, <laughs> trust me, you get blown away. She's always wearing something new, something soft, something sweet. I would say fashionable, based on my definition of fashion. What goes through your mind when you want to dress up to go somewhere? So honestly, I don't even, at this point in my life, I don't even know my, I don't know if I have a particular style, but mm -hmm. because one thing that defines me is for, for like two years, you always find a touch of an African fabric mm -hmm. on me. Mm -hmm. So I think some people say, oh, she's branding herself. But this is because my sister is a, is a designer, yeah. EB Creations. Yeah. And I am, what would I say I am? I am the super muse for EV Creations. Interesting. <laughs> I'm coming for some consultancy, and I hope it's free. Emily, you gave us, I don't want to say this on TV. She didn't call me by that name. <laughs> <laughs> That's how far back we go. Yes, we, we, we do go that far back. What's your vision for your brand? 
Well, I, I first of all wanted to say thank you to Zaron because when I decided to do Zaron, it was because I tried their products and I felt different. Mm -hmm. It was natural, lightweight and soft and they gave me this platform without doubt that like, she can do this, okay? And of course, like any young girl, I'm doing a lot of research because it's tough that I read recently, I read something that said, don't teach me how to fish. Show me the pond, I want to buy the pond. Are you serious? Yes. Everybody goes by teach me how to fish so I can feed myself. This no. is new. But it's, yeah, I read, I recently I read mm -hmm. in a book that said, don't ask how to fish, buy the pond. Because if you're asking how to fish, the guy who has the pond decides when you're fishing. Mm -hmm. So yeah. if you're buying the pawn, you own everything. You own the rights to fishing at mm -hmm. any time, anything. Before I let you go, usually I like to play a game with my guests and tease them a little bit about their work and their art. But just before the game, I'd like you to share with us, you know, basic tips. I'm sure you go by social media and see how ladies take care of themselves. Ah. <laughs> and I'm sure you have comments and criticisms. <laughs> which we will not dwell into today. But I'd like to share a few tips for the most common mistakes that you see, most common makeup mistakes that you see. My, the best tip would be, don't, um, for the eyebrows especially, mm -hmm. because the eyes are what really defines your face. Mm -hmm. So the first thing I want to say is don't try to have your friend's brows. Just follow your natural eyebrow line. Because the, the, the idea is not to to, to create you, it's just to give you a softer and a more natural edge. So that's my first advice, your eyebrows. I've seen some dramatic eyebrows and worst, worst of all, if the eyeshadows that go with it are, what colors would you advise for daily eyeshadows? Because that's one of the things that distracts me on women's faces a lot. Well, um, eyeshadows during the day, you have to keep it nude. So it has to be like earth, earth tone colors. Mm -hmm. The colors very close to your skin color. What if you're somebody who likes bright colors, the greens, the yellows, the loud blues? The truth is you can wear every other color. The secret to wearing eyeshadow is blending. I'm sure I have, I have four different eyeshadows on my eyes yeah, right now, but you, cannot, but you cannot tell. Because the secret is blending. And of course we have makeup classes, affordable. Mm -hmm. We give products that come when you come for the makeup class. So people should well, just yourself, pamper yourself. Well, you're affordable for some of us who don't have, you know, <laughs> for those who don't have anything, is there anything coming up on YouTube, makeup classes or free, I'm technically? I'm thinking about it. <laughs> I'm thinking about it. Um, I think I have a few videos that I've done on my own. Mm -hmm. But I take one step at a time. I won't leave you without breaking into your personal life. Good. Single, married, divorced, uh, widow, uh, Oh, single, hmm? red, to mingle, and twinkle. <laughs> <laughs> there she is, guys, please, I'm taking applications, and please, <laughs> may you come with your application, oh, please? Oh, no, if, if you're taking applications, the first, and maybe the only thing, hmm? you should fear God. But that's a tough one, though, that's the toughest of all. Because it's about the six packs, we can easily get that in two months. If it's about six cars, we can get that Not in the, the bank six account. packs, we can work on the six packs. But fearing God is a tough challenge. We're going to play a game right now called Face Beat in No Time. Uh -huh. Make Yes. <laughs> Makeup artists take forever to get your face ready. Usually it's about 30, 45 minutes minimum. Mm. So now, I know the eyebrows are the bigger challenge in life. All right. I know the lips are really important to the ladies because they like to pout. You know, the whole. so we'll pick some of the essentials on a woman's face and we'll give her just a few seconds okay. to beat it. Okay. Are you ready to go? I'm good. Yes. It's time for our game with our guest today, Face Beat in No Time. We've talked about a few aspects that really define a woman's face. And I'm about to test how quickly she can put this together because makeup artists take forever, believe me. You're like, are you not done? Are you not done? Are you not done? But right now, I'm giving her just a few seconds to get a few things done 
on our muse. Our muse today is Giselle. Now, I've got my stopwatch ready. And the first challenge we're getting off with is draw eyebrows in 60 seconds. So five, four, three, let's go. Does the calm mean there's pressure? <laughs> <laughs> yes, there's pressure. I don't think I've done this. It's true that I try to time myself when I'm walking, but I haven't done this. So let's see how this goes. We're 30 seconds in now. Yay! <laughs> I leave that bitch you rap them for back house. Stalking your own day, they think it's first class. Four to five seconds in. This is now funny. Five. Four. Three. Two. Yes. One. <laughs> At least it looks like something. That's a good one. That's an interesting Whoa, one. Whoa, I haven't done this before. So a makeup artist can actually really <laughs> get your eyebrows done in one minute. Are you trying to say that we take a lot of time? No, you do. You do. You know I'm telling the truth about that one. Just make you look nice. The next challenge. Our next challenge will be design beautiful shades on the eyeshadow in 60 seconds. Oh, uh oh. We're about to kick that off in five, four, three, two, play. Okay. Now eyebrows in 60 seconds, I'm sure, <laughs> will do it because it's been done. Blending the colors <laughs> in 60 seconds, I worry. Well, let's see how that goes. We're 25 seconds in right now. Okay. Halfway there, 30 seconds. The pressure is mounting. I can feel it. I'm sweating. <laughs> you just mean me. Our muse is so quiet. I'm sure you're traumatizing her face. No, I'm not. I have to always keep it soft. Wait, wait, wait. Boy, them one die for my cake, cake, cake. Shorty one more for a day, day, day. 50 seconds in. And there we go. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. Opla! <laughs> this looks really interesting. Wow. Okay. Well, um, we're talking about the colors that you can have in the day. Yes. These are head tone colors, colors very close to your skin color. Okay. And our last challenge, which should be the sweetest. What would that be? Her lips. Mm. Okay, her lips. Yes. Her last challenge would be design, draw, and paint her lips in 30 seconds. 30 seconds! <laughs> oh, that was mean. <laughs> okay, so we're about to kick it off. Five, four, Smile. three, Smile. two, one, go. Okay. Yep, yep. Okay, Lips in 30 seconds. 30 seconds. We're 10 seconds in. 15 seconds there. I'm eager to see what this face will look like. Five, four, three, two, one. Done. <laughs> this was crazy. <laughs> okay. I'm going to be nice. I'm going to be really nice. Because I understand this was really mean to give somebody two and a half seconds to draw your eyebrows, do your eyeshadows and your lips. So I'm giving her 30 seconds for finishing. 30 seconds. Yeah. Mm, quickly. So, should I say one minute? Okay. okay, let me be nice and give her one minute it's to do the finishing, thing. right? <laughs> Five, four, three, and we're gone.
Pay my goddamn dues, when this is my time. Down, yeah. Yeah. When you see me get down, yeah. When you see me bow down, yeah. When you see me bow down. Now I feel like I gave you too much time to prepare. That's it. not true. Jeez. We're 30 seconds in, so half the time to go. <laughs> 45 seconds in, we've got 15 seconds to go. And the drum roll starts. Five, four, three, two, one, shout out time. <laughs> now, what does our muse look like? <laughs> Something the cat rejected. Now you are on CCTV on camera. It's the first time I've had a face beat in three and a half minutes. <laughs> Makeup artists take forever, and if our muse looks this great, I said great with a clean day, so um, up to you to judge. If she looks this great in three and a half minutes, then you shouldn't have a makeup artist spend more than five minutes on your oh face my God. ever. <laughs> She's an amazing lady, very dynamic, very outgoing, very fun, very outspoken. And she is not afraid to dare. Check it out on social media on the link. Um, on Instagram, it's I O E by Mwenge. And same thing on Twitter. Facebook, I have Isle of Ecstasy and Zaron Cosmetics Cameroon. You can actually turn your passion into a business if you focus and if you invest in yourself and if you decide to be a professional. Don't forget about the business. I didn't say this before, but she loves money. <laughs> <laughs> she loves money. So check us out on our social media pages. On Facebook, we're at www.facebook.com forward slash Miss P Show. On Twitter, we're at The Miss P Show. On Instagram, we're at The Miss P Show. I am at Miss P Happy on Instagram, so check us out. Until next time, support our talent. Stay on this platform. I'm Miss P, and I'm Simply Deep.